Hi guys, it's Carl from Monkey Mod. Uh, so it's been a while since I last made a video and I had just did a little bit of testing on my Kublai K2 and I found that it has some problems. Mostly still problem, but upon opening the gearbox, I discovered immediately another kind of problem. So first, the seal problem. This is a stock nylon uh, piston unit with the head, nylon head. This is the stock uh, cylinder and the cylinder head. So immediately happened was that <laughs> there's no seal. The reason was uh, the stock O-ring just worn off. So you see, there's completely no seal. And I thought that was that was that that was just the only problem. So I thought I would just pop the place O-ring and call it a day. But when I opened this, yes. The teeth on the piston, the first few teeth has been worn out. Now, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to tell you why I will always take off the last teeth of the sector gear, last teeth of the sector gear, and the last teeth of the gears on the last last gear or teeth on the piston itself. So what happened was that uh, I threw in a 1.2 spring in uh, This is not a stock spring so this is probably why it wore off so fast So uh, just to share my knowledge with you like why this happens This is quite common actually I've seen a lot of these when I open a stock gearbox And the primary reason was when you upgrade uh, aftermarket spring It's not, you know, the spring is not always up to the standard spec where it could be shorter so for example I have a 1 point this is a 1.1 spring I'm not sure but anyway so you can tell the different length so if you have this spring in it probably will be fine that probably won't happen so I'm going to attempt to explain to you why that happened to the piston piston unit itself the teeth so uh, I'm just going to split it on the gearbox itself so uh, I already replaced some of this part with the aftermarket parts, so uh, forget about that. So let me just try to zoom in a bit. Alright, so I think it's a bit blur, but better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> so what happened was, uh, let me just replace this entire unit with the, with the stock unit. So let's say if I have the stock... Uh, piston in. I already shaved the last teeth on my sector gear, stock sector gear, so uh, I just do my best. <laughs> so what happens is that uh, your motor pushes the entire gear system and it pulls it back like so. So uh, if you have if you have the last teeth here, you will actually keep on pushing, pushing the last teeth on the sector gear and, and then it will release. So leaving the space here and also delay the time of the piston returning back to its resting position so what happened is if you have a upgraded spring a 1.2 spring it means that it will push it will push the piston much faster than a stock spring would like a stock 1.1 spring so when that happened this is what's going to happen uh, when the gear when the last gear cleared the teeth on the last last gear on the uh, piston is going to be pushed by the spring itself by the main spring so it's going back so what happens is that when you have a when you have a you, you're using upgraded motor or you are you have a very you're using 11.1 motor you know whatever things that will increase the rate of fire so this is what's going to happen before the piston can return to, to its resting position, you know, full. At this point, the cycle has already completed by the gear system here. So what, has, what, what happens is what, what happens here now is that halfway through the, <laughs> the sector gear just scrapes the gears here. So it's going to just you know grab wears out all wears out all the gears here. Uh, because uh, the piston now is currently being pushed by springs, possibly a stronger spring. 
So it's not going to stop. So what happened is that at this point, the sector gear has completed its cycle and it's going, it's going to scrape all the gear up there by force. By force. And then come back here again. Come back here again to push the system. So which is why you have this kind of uh, wears on this first field, uh, first field teeth. It's because uh, the piston could not go back to its resting position fast enough or and or the sector gear completed its cycle way too fast. So if you don't shift the last gear on the piston and the sector gear, this is going to happen. So on the metal, it probably will cause catastrophic kind of a failure. So the solution is you just shave off the last teeth on the sector gear and then uh, all together actually I just remove the last last teeth on the piston itself. Well, can be easily removed in this unit. Just take off the piston head and then this one slide right off. So right now oh right, the seal is really good on this. <laughs> so well Oh, by the way, uh, this is an upgraded nozzle for the Kublai gearbox. This is an aluminium unit. Uh, this will be available in Monkey Mod very soon. Uh, it will replace the shitty nylon that has a quite, quite a bad air seal on it. So, I uh, strongly recommend this mod, but the problem is that you will also have to replace the cylinder head. The, the stock one has a wider diameter here, so you can't fit, it, uh, fit the aluminium nozzle in. Uh, okay, uh, I digress. So, let me just get back. So what happened now is that I have shaved off uh, the last teeth on the sector gear and removed the last teeth on the piston. Now, the AOE is perfect as well, so that's great. So um, it's going to pull the gear and here, this is where it will release the piston. And because there's no gears here, so nothing is blocking anything, so we just release that faster and that gives you more time on the sector gear to complete its cycle before it actually you know, complete the cycle prematurely before your piston actually returns back to a resting position like so. So uh, that's it for today's. Uh, for this video, let me just put that. All right, so uh, just little thing to share with you guys. Uh, so this is what I would do whenever I open up a gearbox to do any kind of modifications. Uh, I will take off the last teeth on the sector gear and the last teeth of the piston itself. Now, uh, this mod sometimes can be difficult if you don't have a power tool because to shave off the teeth on the metal gear, nylon is easy, you probably can do it with a file or something. Now, if you have a metal gear, it's probably going to be very difficult to you know, shave it clean without a proper tool. So. I mean, if you don't have a power tool, I'm so sorry, I can't help you out there. But at least, after watching this video, I hope you understand understand more about the gearbox and why people shave off the last teeth on the, on the gears. You don't do it just for the loose. Mostly it's because uh, this will increase the durability and the reliability of the gearbox greatly. Simple mod, uh, not without power tools, uh, but very effective mod. Strongly recommend this whenever you want to mod a gearbox. Now, uh, if you shave off one teeth, it also means uh, you will lose some air volume, uh, which is why I have a ninety percent. Let me zoom in. Yeah, a ninety percent uh, cylinder here, so that it doesn't work that hard. Because you can see that the O-ring is here, it's exposed already. So, so just just a little bit of a tip that if you want to mod do this mod, I can recommend uh, this, this type of a pot. I'm not sure if the camera can catch. Yeah, this type of a pot to, you know, maximize this and, and optimizing the entire gearbox system. So, uh, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys find this video to be informative and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. All right, uh, so since I made a video, I might as well do a test shooting <laughs> after putting all that, I mean repairing the K1. Uh, so basically, the gearbox is still half stock, I guess. 
apart from the you know entire of the upper cylinder there, the piston, piston head, the cylinder, the uh, cylinder head itself has been upgraded, uh, including the nozzle. The stock nozzle, I gotta say, uh, Google Eye has sort of a messed up this time. The slot gearbox is not as good as my first uh, Google Eye K1. Uh, a little bit of a quality control drop over there, but still, overall, gearbox is still pretty alright. So, so this is a K2. Uh, it's pretty sweet. If you like the Mark 18 Mod Zero configuration. It has a nylon handguard uh, that I think is actually quite impressive out of box so I didn't actually changing the handguard so anyway that's all I did uh, just done repairing the gearbox so I just thought I might as well do a test shot as well and see what FPS that I, we can get because uh, according to my fellow modders they say they notice uh, quite a significant FPS drop after doing the you know, uh, shaving off the last teeth of the piston and the sector gear. So here I have with my K1, did the same mod, and now let's see what FPS we can get. So this is a stock Google K1 magazines. Let me just some gels in. So the gel I'm using is also the LDT Wall Interest uh, hardened milky gel. Now one thing I don't like about the <laughs> Google K1 magazine is you know, it's pretty dumb. So, it's supposed to have an O-ring there, but I'm not sure why they removed that. Probably because a lot of people complain the magazine is not feeding well, but it's pretty much a quite a huge bummer. So now you can't actually stash your magazine into your chest rig, whatever, face down, or you know, hope that we just pour out. So uh, I don't really recommend the Max, <laughs> although they works pretty well. Just that the gel falls out. So I already have a battery in. Now another thing that another complaint of mine. Uh, this is a stock mod, but stock, pretty sweet as a engraving here. So if you have the supposedly AG but stock you're supposed to be able to access to the battery from here but not good light I suppose they actually follow the real steel soft mod so you have to take off the entire bu buffer tube to get access to the battery so that's a bummer but anyway I already have the battery in so let's just do a test shot real quick I'll be doing a full review on the K2 soon Although now it's no longer stock, but eh, it will do. So, pretty sweet. Right, so let's just put the magazine in. Give it a few test shots. Right, works. So, let me get my crony here. Right, my trusty crony, A stacks. Right, let's see what FPS we are getting today. Two seven one. Not sure if you can see that. That's pretty good, I guess. On such a you know short inner barrel configuration, I just dropped in a one point two. Some minor uh, internal upgrades because the original one just worn off. Let's just give a few more shots. Two seven one. Oops. Two six eight. Two six five. Two seven five. 273. So it's pretty consistent doing around 270 FPS. Now let's just do, let's give it a full auto burst and see what number we can get today. 271, 271, 261, 266, 270, 272, 26 something. So that's pretty consistent. Simple mod. Uh, so I'm still getting about 270 plus FPS even though I have already done the you know the 
I don't know what the, what the mod is called, I don't have a specific name for it but just shaving off the last teeth of the sector gear and the piston and the rest is pretty much stock uh, I'm still getting 270 plus FPS and plus the cylinder I'm using is a 90% pot so uh, it doesn't look like that's more FPS I mean the air volume loss contributed a lot in the FPS loss uh, so pretty good, pretty happy with this mod I'll be doing a review on the K2 soon uh, and also the Kubla K1 actually I've been meaning to do that but haven't got time lately so I'll see you guys soon Thanks for watching. See you guys again.